Optionals allow to handle in a safe and elegant way special situations that might occur when your code is executing. We saw in a previous lecture that trying to get a non-existing key out from a dictionary return a nil value. Nil is used to tell my program that a variable or constant has no defined value. Conceptually, this is quite different from zero or an empty string. Nil is an optional assigned by default by Swift when it's not possible to properly terminate a calculation. In most languages, you should take care of every possible condition in your code, but Swift makes life a lot easier. Normally, Swift can detect these errors conditions and handle them returning a nil value. But sometimes it will need help from you. Let's see how in the playground. Okay, let's see first practical use of uh, optionals. Let's say we have an input system where the user needs to introduce his age. And of course, if I have an input inside a field that comes as a string, so it can be any character. Let's assume for now the our user input the string 34. And I'll need to convert that string into an integer to perform some calculations. So let my age equals age input to integer. And okay, no problem. 34, string 34 is converted to integer 34. But what if my user didn't type a correct number? Just maybe just type his name by mistake in the field, and not his age. As you see now, my integer is not doesn't have a value anymore because I cannot interpret John as a number, but I have a nil value. I can use this nil value to detect some error conditions or anomaly conditions and maybe display an alert message to my user. And here Swift is performing automatic uh, optional usage, but if I de will declare the type of my variable, integer, you see that I get an error condition. Value of optional type integer not unwrapped, meaning I have to specify that my value needs to be unwrapped to the optional, nil. So the question mark after the variable declaration allows me the usage of nil as a possible value for my variables. Let's see another uses for optionals. Let's uh, say I want to display a greeting depending on my name. Uh, so var my name string. And you see that Till here, a string uh, doesn't display any value here, meaning it's just been defined as a variable of type string, but it's not been initialized and has no value. What if I define an optional for string? String is now nil. So I have a precise value for string, even if it's not been initialized the first time. So I know string has not been defined because automatically nil value is assigned to it. Let's define uh, let the two sentences h1 equals to meet you. Oops, sorry. And let h2 equal I don't think I know you. Then I define my greeting. Let greet equal and here I'm going to use a ternary conditional operator using my string my name and in case my name is has a value I use h1 otherwise I'm going to use h2. And as you see greet now is I don't think I know you. The system is telling me I don't think I know you because my name is not defined. But what if I input my name? My name equals 
John, then the greeting changes to pleased to meet you. 